some more. Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is my good friend, Wyatt Russman. We are out in Nebraska. Now, we're getting a little bit of a late start, so I wanna say right off the bat, this entire video is dedicated to Bob Ketchy and Adam Johnson. Later in the video, I'm gonna explain that to you, but right now, look at this, you guys. We have all this beautiful land to spot and stalk my very first mule deer buck with my bow. Um, I was hunting with Chad Mendez out in South Dakota about a month ago, and he was using this uh, spot hog site. I really liked it, so I changed it up. And so now that I'm out here, I'm trying to just shoot my bow a little bit. We just saw a buck up on the hill. We just saw a nice buck over there, so I'm kind of in a rush. 62 to there. Anything from five yards to 70 yards, let it rip. So the wind is coming to us in our face right here, but the sun is shining on the faces of those hills over there. What that does is it gives us a good vantage point for us to look down into these bottoms and out across these hills. We just spotted a big herd of whitetails way over here in a green field. But right now, we're really looking for a big mule deer buck to put the stock on. So now, this is the first morning of the hunt. We just found a absolute giant mule deer. This is all our property. So we're just gonna take our time. I wanna find out where this deer lays down. If I can figure out where he lays down, I have a shot at killing him. I saw a doe, and I know where the buck was, but I never saw him. Well, I was glass, and I saw that nice four point. With mule deer, they typically don't count the eye guard, so it's one, two, three, four, four point. hitting the blind and my bow is hitting the blind which means there's no way I can make an accurate shot hey every hunt is a learning experience and I just learned that this blind is too small to archery hunt out of The wind is like a hurricane out here right now. But um, we'll see what happens. Can't kill them if you don't hunt. Hopefully they walk along the side of this hill and maybe I just get to see one. I'm just happy to be here. Well, I'm looking at 
two doe mule deer right now. They're crossing exactly to where we were sitting earlier. Like, they would walk right out in front of where I just was. This is driving me crazy. Socks. I had that big buck coming right to me. Uh oh, deer, big deer, big deer, big deer. Coming down the hill. I ain't sure if y'all saw that, but I just missed a giant mule deer twice.
just had four does right here at 20 yards. Very alert, much more alert than the rest of the deer have been, so it's very quiet. These deer are on high alert. Some of you may be hunters, some of you may not be hunters, but this is what hunting is all about, man. Like, oh, the anticipation. Every time I got a big buck coming across the road, some someone drives by and either shoots at him or runs him off. Dang it. All right, good morning, everybody. This is my third day. I changed locations today. I've been seeing these deer out in this little open area every day. The bucks are chasing the does. The does are feeding. I've been sitting up on the hill. But now, this right here is where I'm sitting. The wind is perfect, it's right into my face. But if the deer come from behind me, won't work. I need the deer to come down this canyon from my right to my left. And then I just gotta get lucky, get a shot. Every day those deer come right here. Now, they're on the other side of the road.
あExpress Mayhem 350s Rage two blade cut on impact perfect pass through. I use a green nocturnal, so it allows me to see the flight of the arrow. And I'm telling y'all right now, that deer is going nowhere. That right there is one awesome bow. It's a diamond carbon deploy. I'm using a spot hog, fast eddy. The only reason I'm telling you this is so that you know my setup and it works. Yeah, boy. Look at that. It's a very bittersweet moment right now, y'all. This is my first mule deer buck. It's lightly snowing. Life is perfect. But uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, this video is dedicated to Bob Ketchy and Adam Johnson. I met, Bo I met Bob Ketchy at the Berry Cafe in Berry, Illinois with his son, Travis Ketchy, probably eight years ago, nine years ago. I was sitting with my friend, Adam Johnson he was one of my best friends in the entire world. Life got busy, time went on, and for whatever reason, my fault, me and Adam didn't speak for about five years, which is unthinkable. About two months ago, it just was on my mind so much, I was like, I gotta call Adam. Got back in touch with Adam, and uh, had an amazing heart-to-heart -heart talk, and it just made me feel amazing to rekindle that friendship and to fix the past wrongs and to tell my friend that I love him and, and I'm sorry for being away so long. Now back to Bob Ketchy. Bob and Travis, last week, the day, the day before I left to come on this trip, they were getting ready to go on a hunt in Illinois together. Father and son on an archery hunt in Illinois. Mr. Bobby went inside to take a nap. He was feeling a little tired, feeling a little worn out and had a heart attack in the bathroom and died. I got the call from Travis and it was a call I'll never forget. And I just remember thinking, Wow, life is short, life is precious, and life is fleeting. Bob Ketchy lived. The slogan of my company is all men die, few ever really live. Bobby lived. He was a man of, of humble pride, had a soft heart, but was a, was a man's man, a great father, a great son a great husband and a great friend. I was honored to call Bob Ketchy my friend. I'm honored to call Travis Ketchy my friend. I'm honored to call Adam Johnson my friend. And I want to tell each and every one of you, I love you and I appreciate you being a part of my channel and a part of my life. You were a part of my first mule deer hunt. It's a, a day I'll never forget. But I encourage you, if there's someone in your life that you need to call and say, hey, I love you brother and I'm sorry I've been away. I'm sorry I did this wrong. I'm sorry I did that wrong. Or maybe you need to call someone and say, you know what? We've had our differences. You've done me wrong, but I forgive you. You're my friend. Call a loved one and tell them that you love them because you never know. 
when tomorrow will never come. And you don't want to be left thinking, what if, or why didn't I do this?